The exhibition is called Building the Wall. This exhibition is part of the Hadrian's Wall 1900 celebrations. Segedunum is the, the Roman name for Wall's End. Originally the wall started at what is now Newcastle at the time there was nothing there and uh, had a nice fancy bridge but within a couple of years they actually decided to extend Hadrian's Wall from Newcastle up to wall, uh, Wall's End and again Wall's End was just a bend in the river so it's a very important fort for being the start. The wall itself actually went down into the river itself and probably had a big statue or probably a temple there to sort of celebrate this huge construction that had gone on. Because the Romans were very proud of their building work, uh, the, the army liked recording what they'd done and this was a, a massive operation. The exhibition is trying to show the practicalities of building Hadrian's Wall. You've got the order going out to, to build it, but how do the soldiers on the ground go around doing it? The exhibition goes through all the different stages, so it starts in the pre-war period, what the countryside was like beforehand, and then it goes through all the different stages required, the planning, where you're getting the stone from, where you're getting the tools from, how you're crossing rivers, how you're actually building materials, and all the way up to actually repair and maintenance of the wall as well. Got some of the tools that might have been used. It needed a large number of different types of tools from things like axes for chopping down trees for making getting the timber that required but also axe and picks for, for shaping the stone down to things like trowels for smoothing out the layer of clay that was used to actually bond the stones together. We've got some bits from transport because all the material has to be transported one way or the other so we're looking at that. And then we've got some paints and pigments looking at research showing what sort of paints that they would have used for painting inscriptions and so on. I think some of the most interesting stories of the exhibition are just looking at Hadrian's Wall close to Wall's End, seeing what was actually happening there. So we know that Hadrian's Wall actually collapsed on quite a few occasions nearby. But one of the most interesting stories is at one period, one of these collapses, they patched it with much larger stones than elsewhere. And we think this actually comes from the Hadrianic gateway, but this period has obviously been falling down a bit. So we've got clues to what that original gateway may have looked like. What I'd like visitors to sort of take away is the amount of effort that went into creating this, but also just thinking about all the different processes that actually go into it. It's all right to say, build this wall and then we now see it is built, but someone's got to cut each of those stones, they've got to get it out of the quarry, they've got to transport it to the wall, they've got to get scaffolding or trestles so they can build higher up. And it's not just the wall itself, it's all these forts and the mile castles and the turrets. The earthworks as well, you've got the ditch and the banks and stuff in, in front and behind, and so there's a huge amount of work uh, that's gone into creating this whole barrier. It's a massive construction.